So, what is Padlet? Padlet is an internet application that allows anyone to express their thoughts on a common topic easily. It works like an online public sheet of paper where anyone can share any content. Paste links to a YouTube video, drag a Word document from your computer, show a picture from your iPad camera, all this anywhere on the page from any device. Think of it like a multimedia friendly, free form, real time wiki page. Padlet is different from other social media, blogging tools and inspiration boards because it's flexible. Padlets can be public, selectively shared and edited among multiple contributors and anyone can see all changes and additions in real time. You can easily drag and drop content onto the page. You can make it even more personal by choosing custom wallpapers and themes for the page so it's not just a blank white paper. And it automatically saves new content as it's added. You can publicise the page and your work with others just by sharing the link to the Padlet and there is no limit to the number of collaborators who can post on your Padlet at any time. As you would expect in today's electronic world, Padlet will keep you informed with a daily notification email to update on Padlets you are watching closely. Importantly, Padlets are free and you can create Padlets with posts to your heart's content. Share with as many people as you like without the worry that the content will disappear. Padlets remain live as long as they aren't deleted and they continue to abide by the content policy. Some examples of what Padlets can be used for are shown here in the Padlet site gallery. They include timelines, book reviews, resource sharing, inspiration boards, KWLs, which we'll come to a little bit later, and your general to-do lists. And there are many more here for you to view. As I mentioned before, Padlet can be public, which basically means open to all. A Padlet will show up in Google searches and can be featured by Padlet the organization on their homepage. But there are another three levels of security that can be used. Secret. The Padlet will have a public link, but that link will be hidden from Google and public areas of Padlet. There's password protected. Visitors will be required to enter a password to access the Padlet. And then private. Only you and the people you add by email can access the Padlet. With this level of security, it makes the free version of Padlet a good choice for use in schools, colleges and adult education, where students, teachers and lecturers can share learning in real time. Which brings me back to KWL charts. These are one of the most popular tools you to aid students prepare for reading and studying by organising what students know, want to learn and what they learned. Padlets can be an online KWL chart which teachers and lecturers can use to gather students' answers in real time. Users can also save links and files to give an extra level of interaction and explanation to show examples of their knowledge, not only during the school day but also at home. Just to note before we finish, there are paid subscription versions of Padlet and this chart shows what you get compared against the free model. I would highly recommend trying out the free model, but for schools, colleges and adult community learning that see a benefit with this, they may want to invest in the backpack version for the additional storage, statistical and monitoring possibilities, as the subscription cost is per teacher or lecturer, not student, so you can have as many free student accounts as you need. That brings me to the end of this instruction to Padlet. Thank you very much for your time.